Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. Go. Young CPT freestyle hip hop. As you can see, I'ma make it to the top. Yes, indeed, I come from the underground. Y'all know that I live Cape Town. 27 is my age, and I freestyle with such rage. I just broke out of an elephant's cage, and I killed the entire stage. Yes, indeed, baby, bro. You don't know how I do. The name is Dr. CPT. I come with a unit, and I make freestyle hip hop music. Yo. Now you know how it goes with my city on the map. It's young CPT freestyle rap, and I do it like this and like that. Trust me, you don't have a comeback. Ah! Oh my God. I am not worthy. I am not worthy. Oh. Riyad Emadine, professionally known as Youngster CPT, is a South African rapper, lyricist, songwriter and entrepreneur. He is renowned for incorporating details about his Cape Malay culture and Cape Town roots in his music. The media has described him as one of the most outspoken South African MCs of this generation. Youngster CPT was born on the 23rd of December 1991 in Winebeck, Cape Town. Riyad is a colored Muslim of Cape Malay descent. His music is inspired by his roots of Muslim and Cape Malay culture. Growing up, Youngster's mother worked as a model in the 1990s. She later transitioned and became a designer and a stylist. His mother raised him as a single mother with the help from his grandparents. According to his lyrics, his father passed away when he was very young. Youngsters first gained commercial attention after being featured on DJ Switch's song Way It Go alongside Nasty C and Stoji T in 2015. In 2016, he released multiple singles including Techies, Top 10 List, Sleep is for the Rich with Stilo Makolite, among others. Then, in 2017, he won Best Lyricist at South African Hip Hop Awards. In 2018, Youngster released his solo debut studio album, Things Take Time. The album won Album of the Year and Best Video for his song, Young Fan Rebeck, taken from the album at the 2019 South African Hip Hop Awards. In 2020, following the success of his studio album, Youngster revealed that the album was inspired by his grandfather, who also narrates the whole project and is credited for the success. He took to Twitter to send a shout out to his grandfather by saying, Grandpa, no, don't trust these fucking men, not at all, Riyadh. You wanna trust these people? You might as well trust the devil. Happy 82nd birthday to the face of my album, the narrator of my album, and the reason we won album of the year. Shukran for everything, I love you. While interacting with the fans on Twitter, he revealed he gave his 2019 Album of the Year award to his grandfather. Youngster paid homage to his family in the visual for his song La Familia. He said, this one means a lot to me because it includes my actual family members and my grandfather makes his debut in the music video for my award winning album which he helped create. In 2021, he landed a debut acting role on the second season of Netflix series Blood and Water. In 2023, he traveled to New York through his partnership with whiskey brand Valentine's. In a series of Instagram pictures, he shared a photo of himself with Reza of Wu Tang. If you don't know, Wu Tang is an American supergroup which was formed in Staten Island in New York in the early 1990s. It became very successful throughout the 90s, releasing singles and certified platinum albums. They are like the American version of Squatter Camp, if you know what I'm saying. Youngster has released 30 mixtapes, 6 EPs, and two collaborative albums, including collaborations with Ganja Beats, since his debut in 2010 before releasing his first album. The King of Cape Flats has also released two joint albums with Shane J, which are Suffer for Beauty and Dreams Don't Pay Bills, respectfully. Youngster also owns a clothing store called YGen Apparel, which is based in Winebeck in Cape Town. For Wave Entertainment, I am KPTZ. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and tell us your thoughts about Youngster CPT. Also, let us know which other artists we should cover next on this series. Until next time, stay safe guys.